Nineteen years have passed since Zorlok the Necromancer slew the gods, raised an army of the undead, and was finally defeated by Merrick and the Redthorns. The events Darren's now refer to as the Year of the Dead. In the aftermath, Darren's retook their land from the tenuous hold of their Vitalian occupiers. But there's been little in the way of rebuilding. Instead, the country is largely lawless and disordered, communities struggling to survive amongst the ruins. And Tila's prediction that in the absence of the gods, magic would soon fade from the world has proven prophetic. The ways of mages and sorcerers are vanishing. Only petty witchcraft remains in dark corners of the land. Now, my name is Ristol Chriswood. I'm a marshal, a derer, and the elf, he's called Learis. Now, these do well. Only introduction they need is hanging around their stretched necks. You see, Lay and me, we've been appointed by the Magistrates' Council to purge the last of the red and black rat bags still befouling our otherwise beautiful and free land. You see this? <coughs> right there, yeah. That is the mark of the Vitalian Legion. No matter where these fikers run, no matter how many years, they've been marked. So there's no doubt. So, who are you, friend? Just a stranger. All right. Where are you headed? Somewhere else. What you got in your wagon? That's not your concern. Is that right? I've got to tell you, we had a hell of a night tracking those two bleeders into the valley. I mean, they put up quite a fight. You know, Lay and me, we lost both our horses for our blades tasted flesh. Bit stranded out here, to be honest. You know, we could really use a ride to Desolation's End. Yeah, it's a roadside inn a ways up the mountain. What you say? That's out of my way. I need to make it through Cricker's Pass before the storm hits. I've heard of you. Not just a stranger, the stranger. They call him bounty hunter, mercenary, murderer, travels with a black iron wagon. I'm an apothecary by trade. By the look of it, that wagon was built for more than herbs and medicines. You, uh, you got a bounty capture in there? Stay away from the wagon. <laughs> All right, stranger. You see, we've heard of Italians still paying good money to get smuggled out of Dera. Roughly close to the border up here? Could it be some rich Vitalian rotter you're carrying in there? Hmm? I don't work for the red and black, never have, never will. Well, then there's no reason why you shouldn't give a marshal and his deputy a ride. I could order you, you know, by authority at a magistrate's council. That authority only gives you the right to kill Vitalians. You have no command over law abiding Deerans or their property. And what if we insist? <laughs> you think you can stop both of us with those? The tips are soaked in manticore venom. We'd be dead within 20 heartbeats. <laughs> Carry my ass. You bitch bastard!
companions look a little peaky there, traveler. Found this boy injured on the road. He's got the mark of a slave. Might be someone's runaway. Gods in their graves. Someone's runaway slave, all right. Mine. Arlen, bring the grog from my room. The strong stuff. Oh, if this one survives, it'll be all a good beating. Well, give it here, you tough girl. Get started on a poultice. Passed a couple of red and black hunters on the road. The bloodthirsty kind. I thought they might have cut the boy up for sport, but that wound wasn't made with a blade. Oh, this is... Magic. Dark magic. Good luck with them. You're leaving. I need to make it through Cricket's Pass before the rest of this storm hits. Well, you're too late for that by now. Not all that what's coming down out there. I'll take my chances. There's no chances to be given, I assure you. I've been on this mountain over 40 years. I know how she storms. Unpassable for another day at the very least. Do you have any animals in your barn? My wagon can't be kept with others. Why is that? What you got in it? Delicate cargo. I need my wagon untouched. I need that barn to myself. Nothing in the barn at the moment. Likely to stay that way long as a storm lasts. Uh. I'm Giblock, by the way. Owner and keeper. What do they call you? They call me stranger. <laughs> Arlen here will take you to the bar and help you stable your horses. Keep an eye on you. I'll do it alone. The stranger here needs his horses fed and watered. Just one more moment with Erid. A cheek on you! Talking back in front of a guest! You don't hit her. You don't lay a finger on them while I'm here. <laughs> you return the boy to me. So I'll forgive you this once. But no one tells me what to do under my own roof with me own property. You call that stranger? Let's go. There you are. Thank you. Bringing Arid back to us. Have we any idea what happened to him out there? She's good luck. She keeps the barn clean and the vermin away. She'll watch over your horses for you. What's in your wagon? It's alive. It's hurt. It's a dangerous animal, but it can't escape, so you've nothing to fear from it. Now, I need you to promise me something. While I'm here, you won't come into this barn alone. Now, there may be others that are curious about the contents of this wagon, so if your master takes an interest, or anyone else for that matter, starts to ask questions, wants to come in here, you tell me. Agreed? Agreed. Boy's wake. And he's got a story to tell. One lad. Tell him. 
the village. Slaughtered. Burned to the ground. I saw the smoke this morning. He ran away in the middle of the night. Got as far as Linwith. He saw the massacre himself. Tell him what you saw. A witch. An, an old woman. With a limp. Half a face fallen and gray. Who is this witch? That's my hittable crow. She lives alone on the mountain. There used to be stories of her learning herself the old dark magic, but it's been years since she's bothered anyone. She wanted me dead. The villagers cursed. The life turned out of them. Then, then the whole place caught fire. She said it was the power of of Solok. <laughs> the necromancer is dead. Defeated by America, the Red Thorns, 19 years ago. The Dark Spore was destroyed. I, no woman's mad. Harlan. You're safe now, Eric. No. No, you don't understand. What is it? When I go up and ran. She called to me, screaming that she'd find me wherever I went. She swore that I'd see her again before the sun rose the next day. And that would be the last thing I saw. Great Hills, she's out there. She's coming for me. She's coming tonight. You're safe here. You're home. We won't let anything happen to you. Oi, lad. Uh, nothing to fear now. Take this. It will help you sleep. Go on, lad. Drink it. It'll do your nerves good. I think me own nerves could use some good doing too as well. This maitable crow, she know who the boy belongs to. Would she know to find him here? I don't know. I never said word one to the woman. Seen her shape across the mountain once a year, maybe. Smoke from her chimney on occasion. You said it's been years since you bothered anyone. What was it like when she did? He's asleep. Oh, good. Best thing for him. What now? What are we going to do? Do? The witch, if she's coming here. She's an old crone. Walks with a limp. I can hardly believe she made it down to Linwith. I'm making the climb up here in this storm. Whatever happens, will you protect Eren? Please protect him. No evil will harm the boy tonight. Even the heartiest of wayfarers won't be brave in this weather. Trust me, you're the last traveler who'll have darkened this doorway for the morrow. Help me with the boy. I'll take him to the larder. All right. Don't answer that door until I come back. Oh, come on, keep your unders on! Who's there? It's us, you bastard! Who? Oh, Bristol and Lay. You in the business of keeping in or not? We're soaked to the bone out here, Gib! Anyone else out there with you? Well, there's a couple of Italian legions that... No! We're all alone! All right. This is buckets out there! Your welcome's gotten a little cold since last we lodged with you, Gib. Well, I wasn't expecting to see anyone coming in out of that tonight. You? Well, isn't this just perfect? 
Thought this place was too far out your way, you lying sack of slop. And how did the two of you make it up here without your horses? We fucking hoofed it on our own two feet. What's left of them, anyway? Between the boot rot and the blisters. Oh, not sure what's left when I take this boot off. Oh, oh my poor dearies. If I lose a toe because of you, I will cut yours in your sleep tonight. There'll be no threat swearing under this roof. Huh? Or you'll be right back out there in that cold wet. Oh, you got anything warm to eat, Gib? I am dog hungry. Oh, the last will have soup ready in not too long. I can never bring it to you if you want to wait for it in your bedchamber. Uh, no, I'll do my waiting right in front of that fire. Thank you very much. Fine then. You two know of any goings on down at Linwood this morning? I know what I seen from across the valley before the storm hit. It's burnt to the ground, mate. <laughs> Whole damn village. You weren't close enough to see what happened. Uh, no. Had our hands full with a couple of rascally Vitalian fikers, as this man can attest. Why? What have you heard? You saw the smoke, same as you. Did you see anyone else coming from that direction today? What, besides you? No. How about tonight? Anyone else coming up the mountain towards this inn? In that storm? Well, you can't see shite out there, mate. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't see Lee's arse in front of me face, save when the lightning flashed. Why? You, uh... You expecting a guest coming in out of that wet hell tonight, Gib? Not expecting a damn soul. I'm sorry I didn't go with you, Herod. <clears throat> Two more boarders for the night. I'll the soup. What are you doing when you touch his forehead like that? It's all right. I won't tell them more. It's a gift. Sometimes when I touch people, I see the things they want to hide. What do you mean? It's like my way with animals. But when it comes to people, I see what makes them different from animals. I see their shame. Animals don't feel it. Pain, they can feel. Fear, grief even, but... Animals don't feel shame. Only people. Harlan, do you know anything more about what happened at Linworth? No. Only I know why Ered went there. To find the grave of his parents. So he's been planning to run away for a while? We both have. I'm not ungrateful. I'd imagine Giblock's a fairer master than many when he's not been drinking, but Ered and I... I always wanted to see more of the world. When it came to it, though, I didn't have the courage. And, and I thought if I didn't go, he wouldn't either. I told myself I was protecting him, but I was just a coward. Don't be hard on yourself. Your fate might have been like the rest of Limworth had you have gone with him. Do you think it's true that the witch has found a way to harness the power of death like Zorlock? I don't know much about that sort of thing. But you were in Deira during the Year of the Dead. Mm -hmm. Was it as horrible as they say? What do they say? They say it was an unimaginable hell. That sounds about right. Did you ever meet Merrick? Merrick of the Red Thorns? She defeated Zorlock. She was a slave, did you know that? A runaway. I, I heard that. Every guest that comes to Desolation's End, I ask them for their accounts of the Year of the Dead. If they've ever met Merrick or Dagon, Tila or Thane, they know their stories. 
But it's Merrick I most like to hear of. Most just repeat stories they've heard from others. Some claim to have met it themselves, but most of those probably lying. But every tale I hear, I write down in this. That's what Erid and me dreamed of. We wanted to be like the Redthorns. They didn't leave the world the way they found it. They sacrificed for the good of others. They saved us. Sometimes I wonder if we were worth saving. Tell me, what do you see from the boy? What's his shape? I think every orphan's is the same. The shame of being an orphan. Ireland! The soup! I said animals don't feel shame like people do. There's one animal that does. Only one I've come across my whole life that does. Hmm. And which animal's that? The one you're keeping in your wagon. How much coin you got stashed away here, huh? Because I notice you ain't spent much on upkeep. Nor on this soup so thin you can read a book through it. If you knew how to read. <laughs> Keep laughing, knife ears. Shouldn't surprise you to hear I'm scraping by, lad. Now, I don't believe you, Gib. There is a miser's hoard here somewhere. Believe it or don't, but it's true. Desolation's ended. Ghost to what it used to be. Who the hell is out there tonight? <laughs> Guess there's someone even unluckier than you and me, Lay. You gonna open a door, Gib? What, you gotten too feeble to slide the bar yourself, old dwarf? Aye. Who's there? Master Dwarf. My name is Eamon Thadric. I have a young woman with me who's been injured. We're both in need of shelter tonight. Drop your heads. What? So I can see your faces. Good evening. And the woman? Anyone else out there with you? I would hope not on this dreadful night. Welcome to Desolation's End. Please warm yourself by the fire. Thank you, good dwarf. And hello to you. Uh, as I said, my name is Eamon Thadric. This young woman is Resma Nye. You're hurt. Came upon a village this morning. Massacred, burnt to the ground. Poor woman was the only survivor. Lenworth? Yes. We heard none survived. Who did you hear it from? Let's get Arlen to see to this. Aye. Master Dwarf, my horse is in need of stabling. I trust you have someone that can feed and water, huh? Aye. That can be arranged. And there is another matter. We'll discuss that later. Right? May I? This wound, it's not a burn. It's dark magic. I've seen something like it in the northern tribes of my people. Such wounds are difficult to heal. Was it the Witch of the Mountain then? The Witch was there to be sure. All night. My sleep was full of terrors. Then I woke to a nightmare. Everyone dead. Everyone but me. Ghastly, the state of that village when I came upon it. Dead in the road, in the homes, 
in the beds, young and old alike. And by some miracle, this woman was spared. Fate, I suppose, led me to her. Who is this witch in a mountain you're talking about, Gib? Mahitable Crow. An old recluse. Lenworth was once her home. Until 17 years ago when she was banished. Banished for what? Evil? They say she was a healer. Quite skilled at it, too. Till the year of the dead. She saw Zorlok's power and became obsessed with necromancy herself. Determined to resurrect the children she'd lost in her infancy, she was. Deeper, darker she delved until she went mad with it. The villagers echoed ways to her witchcraft. Forced her to leave. But that weren't the end of Linworth's trouble with her, was it? The beast. I. Not one moon after Mahitable left, a monster came to Linwith. Killed more than a dozen villagers before they drove it on. Now you tell me that weren't the witches doing. Perhaps this morning, with a new and final act of vengeance on the village. But, but why now? The gods below only know. I did the best I could. You've got some skill there. Where are you from, Greybeard? I'm from Gelton. You're a long way from home. What brought you to the valley? What's that? Or was Limworth your destination? Oh, no. I'm hunting elk. Elk? Yes, uh, favorite hunting ground of my youth. A sort of a pilgrimage to my glory days. Any luck? Hmm. The hunt? No. But I think Providence has found me a more worthy purpose. Master Dwarf, my horse is still out in the wind and the rain. It'll be ruined by morning if it's not suitably sheltered. Arlen? The man's horse, sir. Take it to the barn. Let the girl stay put. I'll stay with your horse. Very good, fine, yes, thank you. Let me do it. I'll stable the man's horse. You can't go out there alone. Not tonight. I don't want you leaving Erid. I don't trust this man, Eamon. He's hiding something. I don't know what it is, but he's desperate not to be found out. Anyway, if the witch is coming here, it's Erid she's after. Not me. It should be me that goes. Straight back. And stay away from the wagon. That's a well-crafted hilt at your side, Greybeard. The, uh, rest of the sword is masterfully made. My name, again, is Eamon Thadric. This was a gift from General Rogar when I commanded the 6th Cavalry. General Rogar? You fought the armies of the dead? Defending Jera from the Necromancer's hordes has been my life's highest honor and privilege. How long after the attack this morning did Eamon find you there? I can't be sure. Two hours, perhaps? And the decision to come here to Desolation's End, was that your idea or his? He said it was the nearest place to seek shelter. Is it painful? You're on. The girl's a natural healer. Tell me, did you hurt your leg this morning as well? 
I noticed you favoring a left when you walked in. No, it's something I've had since a child. A bad foot. I once had a friend with a similar ailment. Stranger, do I have that right? That's what you prefer to be called. You've now heard the colorful story of what brings the Marshal and his elf deputy to Desolation's end tonight. May I hear yours? I'm just passing through. Oh, come now. Indulge an old man who enjoys hearing the wayfaring tales of his fellow Darens. Now, the stranger is a ruthless bounty hunter. Ah. So we all have come hunting, it would seem. And whose bounty are you currently after? I'd rather not speak of it. Yeah, he'd rather not say, because he's got him caged in his wagon in that barn out there. Ain't that right, stranger? Must be a hell of a bounty, too. Won't let anyone near it, nor tell the man's name. Am I to understand? You have a live prisoner out there in that barn in this cold. You realize come morning you may have killed the man. You told me nothing of this lad. It's not a man, it's a wild animal. And the barn shelter is plenty. A wild animal? And my mare has just been sent to share its roof? It's shackled and caged. Your horse is fine. You'll be safe and warm here. Are you cold? Hungry? Can you hear me? I hear you. You're, you're not an animal at all. Don't be so sure. Who are you? <laughs> Was that Linwith? Linwith? What do you know of Linwith? Are you the beast? The, the one the witch summoned years ago for her vengeance on the village. As little I know. Before. Before. Before the curse. Was it Mehitable Crow? Did she curse you? Mehitable. I can't. I can't remember. What can you remember? A child. A girl. Her mother was killed. <laughs> Stop. Stop asking me to remember. Was there any indication this morning of where Mahitable Crow may have headed to, whether she continued down the valley or back up the mountain? No. Or did you see anyone on the mountain road on your way up here tonight? No, but truthfully, it was hard to see anything at all. But you two asked me and lay the same question. What's this about? They think the witch is coming here. <laughs> oh, gods and their graves, that is what you think. Now, what the hell is going on here? What are you not telling us? That witch coming here, what for? Is it true? If you've reason to suspect it even a possibility, I think we deserve to know. I found Giblock's slave boy injured on the road and I brought him here. He was down in Linworth and saw the whole thing. But before he escaped, the witch made a threat. A threat? She said she'd find him by night's end. Kill him. You mean to tell me that that witch that just massacred an entire village using Dark magic and hellfire is making her way here. There's no reason to believe that the witch even knows where he's from, let alone where he went. What's more, it's storming so hard out now, the old crone couldn't make it up here if she wanted to. Uh, well, these two just made it here, and they ain't got powers beyond the natural. Where's the boy now? Resting. Given the hitable crow's story, I can make some cruel sense of her attack on the village. But the boy is just a runaway. Why would she be so determined to go after him? 
Apparently, he was born in Nimwith, before he was orphaned. Could, could I speak with the boy? Perhaps our families knew each other? Once he wakes. Oh, you folks are acting like this is all well and good. There is a murdering mad hag out there who's more than likely on her way to this inn tonight. We will deal with the witch if she comes. Oh, really? Yes, really. That's all we can do. Well, you know what me and Liaros are going to do? If that witch comes here raising hell, we're going to offer her a boy in exchange for her leaving in peace. That's really your position as a marshal, dear. It is, Greybeard. Quiet! Listen. It's Arlen. You sure about that? Arlen, that you? Yes, sir. Anyone else out there with you, last? No, sir. You see anything out there, sweetheart? No. Good. Everything all right in the barn? There's no bow nor arrows with Eamon's horse, nor on his person. It's strange to bring only a sword for an elk hunt. Mm. All right, look. After you're done the washing up, why don't you check in the boy? Eric! You shouldn't be up and about. You need to rest. I don't believe so now. Come on, then. Let's give him a moment. I've got some questions for you. Now, this witch, you saw her, boy. Yes, sir. Yeah. And what she looked like? She riding in on a horse or on foot? Witches don't ride horses. They ride the wind. All right, that's enough questions for now. Herod, this is Resma Nye. She was at Linworth when it all happened. Yes. I'm glad to know I wasn't the only survivor. It's given me hope there may be others who escaped like you. Perhaps it would be less overwhelming for you if we spoke privately. In your room, you could lie resting. Could I have some supper first? More than a day since he's had anything to eat. Of course you can. I wandered this world for so long. Many thousand years. What names I could speak. The girl. She's young to be so skilled a healer. Where is she from? Linworth, actually. Same as the boy. Not siblings, though. Might as well be. Both lost their families years ago. Far too young. The girl's parents. Do you know their names? Oh, sure, I have it written somewhere. I'm curious. How has a youth from Gelting come to hunt so far from home? My father was a valet to a battalion magistrate. Afforded me some privileges of travel and education not available to most young boys. I was lucky. What was the Vitalian magistrate's name? Caldine. Kairos Caldine. Armies tread all to ash and spread their death. Will you have me linger here? I, I'm, I'm sorry. That's all right. I'll get you another. Get a rag and clean it up, you daft girl.
Herod. You look like you need to lie down. Oh, let him finish his supper first. Herod. Boy. Come here. Stay back! What's going on here? Keep your hand off that crossbow. Let him go. I can't. You don't understand. There's so much you don't understand. A stranger, something evil. You have doomed them all. When the storm's passed, we'll take her body out and burn her. years ago. It may be. If it was, then it's the beast that killed Herod's parents. And mine. Why haven't you killed it? I may yet. There's something I've wanted to ask. You don't have to tell me. When I took your hand in the barn, I heard something from you. It was a woman's scream. It sounded as if she was beaten. That's from long ago. I was young. But old enough to have done more. Before the year of the dead hardened us all. I was a coward. I was an apprentice to an apothecary near Gelty. He had a slave girl with a lame foot, one he was sure he could beat into submission. But she was no ordinary girl. A spirit wouldn't break. But this only made the apothecary's anger grow until the night of Italian guard brought her home as a runaway. The apothecary was so angry that he beat her within an inch of her life. I should have stopped him. 
I should have done something. But that night, I was just as much a coward as all the nights before. So she stopped him. Nearly killed him in the process. That was the night that she ran away forever. She asked me to go with her. Still, I was too afraid. Merrick. The girl was Merrick. I've done a lot of shameful things since the year of the dead. But nothing haunts me more than that night when I stood by doing nothing while Merrick was beaten in the frozen street. I got up to put more coal in the stove the way he likes on cold nights. What's wrong with his... It's dark magic. No! Is it the witch? Is a vengeance still among us? The witch is dead, boy. Let's get you back to bed. Could she, have, um, could she have come back to life? I mean, can they do that? Why don't you and Liares take the dwarf down to the cellar and find out for yourself? Yeah. Lay? Mm. Lay, we got work to do! Find something. What? No. I'm just looking for any hint of what may have happened. Nothing of note. Let's all meet in the front hall, shall we? I'll tell the marshal. Myself. Once they move the body.
you. Still dead. You'll be all right. The stranger won't let anything happen to us. The witch is cold as ice. So, who killed the dwarf? Well, if no one will say it, then I will. Greybeard, you were the one that brought the witch here in the first place. That's ridiculous. I thought I was helping a young woman in distress. You know that. What we don't know is what brought you to the valley to begin with. <laughs> I've told you. An elk hunt with no bow nor arrows. If this really was your favorite hunting ground as a youth, then you know better than I. This is the wrong season for elk in this valley. Their herds move west this time of year. A migration so reliable that the Garandan used to measure their age by it. So, what really brings you here? I had business with the dwarf. Business? What business? Oh, is that a dwarf that's now lying dead in the cellar? Well, it looks like you came out ahead in that transaction, eh? There were certain papers I needed from him. So that's what you were searching for in the dwarf's room? What's it say? Eamon Thadrock. Darren born Gelting. <laughs> These are your papers of identification. I don't understand. Why did Gib have them? Because the dwarf was a forger. By the looks of it, a good one. <laughs> so these aren't his real name, nor where he's from. What's your name, Greybeard? Caldine is my guess. Caldine. That's a Vitalian name. Fucking hell. A red and black. General Rogar's right hand man? Hmm? Look at that. A Legion commander. How many Darens lost their lives, dignity, and property so you could earn that rank? Hmm? It's true. I carried out the will of the Empire. Madeira has always been my home. When the Year of the Dead came, I did serve under General Rogar, fighting the armies of the undead alongside Terrans. That was no lie. My wife is Terran. My son is Terran. I only sought out that forgery to protect them from the stain of my past. Well, Commander. Looks like Desolation's End is gonna get his third corpse tonight. Sheath your sword. What the hell, stranger? You're gonna prevent a marshal from performing his duty? I guess I am. What for, huh? You think because he killed a few undead alongside our countrymen, that makes up for decades of abuse? No. But being a Vitalian doesn't change the fact that there is a murderer in here amongst us. In fact, it proves it wasn't him. How do you figure? What if he killed the dwarf to cover up his little secret? When have you known of a Vitalian, even before the Year of the Dead, the knew the ways of old magic? But who killed the dwarf? You're so smart. What well, is the obvious answer? The elf. Didn't ask you. Red and black. He's flaunted his knowledge of dark magic since I arrived. The woman's wound, the witch's stone. Clearly, he's seen plenty of it before. How do we know he's not a practitioner himself? After seven years partner with himself, if he knew how to use magic to kill someone, I'd have seen it before. Trust me. I don't trust you. He's been pocketing the dwarf's trinkets all night. Did he find you out? So you had your partner kill him in the night? Yeah, keep talking, Vitalian. Your noose is round your neck the more you speak. Oh, I don't hear a denial. What did the witch say? She said you brought something evil here. What did you bring? It's the animal he's got in his wagon. That's what it is. 
The witch, uh, what did she say? Uh, 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 you have doomed them all. And now he's gone and killed the damn dwarf, just like she said. That animal didn't kill the dwarf. How do you know that? Because I know. Well, maybe that's not good enough right now with the four of us trying to kill each other in the middle of the night. I think we deserve to hear a bit more about this animal. Yeah, what the hell is it, stranger? Lower your blades. And I'll tell you. I captured the beast of Black River. <laughs> you lie. I'm sorry, should I know of this beast of Black River? Yeah, for the past 15 years, maybe more, no traveler dare cross the Black River forest. There's a beast there, I tear you limb from limb. Large bounty on its head. Most hunters gave up on it years ago. Why? Because they're dead. The beast is shackled and caged. That iron has held strong across half of Dera. It cannot escape. In my experience, cages hold until they don't. Hang on, hang on. You had a chance to kill the beast of Black River, and instead, you captured it live. Why? That's not your concern. No, 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 that is our concern. Because if that's the beast that you've brought here, you put us all at risk. Now, to keep Brudy in is dead, and what seems like the fulfillment of a witch's sue saying, and I think we deserve to see for ourselves whether that thing is still in its cage or not. I have to agree. You're not going to that barn. Why the hell not, stranger? If you think that's so secure, then what's the danger? The danger is there is a murderer in here with us. Yeah, who is it then? I don't know, but it's not the beast. Are you sure? Whatever's in your wagon, it is cursed. See, even a girl agrees. Get back in the larder. Stay with Herod. Lock the door. You come with me. You can see for yourself that it hasn't escaped. You two, stay here. What the hell with that we're coming to? Fine, but when we get back, I don't want to hear another word about this beast, understood? Yeah, yeah, of course, mate, yeah. find my parents' graves at Linwith. Bird. When I touched the woman's arm, I saw the dead of Linwith. The village burning. I saw it because she was ashamed of it. And I thought it was just the guilt of surviving. I didn't realize it was the guilt of having done it herself. I still don't understand why she came for you, though. The old witch went mad. Your face. You're hurt. It must be from when the witch grabbed me. It's fine. I think we need to tell the stranger you met Mehitable before yesterday. No needs to know that. They wouldn't understand. I think the stranger would. He knew Merrick. He was her friend. The witch said it was Zorlok's power that slaughtered the village. Could it somehow be what killed Giblock as well? I don't know. The others have gone to check on the stranger's wagon. It may be what Mahitable warned of when she died. Erid, I think it's the beast that attacked Linwith years ago. The beast that killed our parents. I want to see it. No. No. I, I promised the stranger we'd stay here. Please. 
Sleep, you need your rest. That beast is a pitiful creature. Whatever it is, it hates itself. I think deep down, all evil things hate themselves. See? Secure. Now, wait, how do we know that thing is in there at all, huh? We can't see nothing in here. Oh, wait, no, 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 yeah, there's something in there. That's enough. No, hang on, hang on. Yeah, give me that lantern, eh? Wait, this ain't a beast. I don't think this is an animal at all. All right, come on down. You got a man in there, stranger, huh? Why are you lying to us about it? Oh, I'm not lying. Yeah, we'll see about that, eh? There's only one reason why you and Wallace believe in that this is a beast and not a man. Black lover, huh? You've been transporting a Vitalian to his freedom. Shut the door. Oh, I am sick of you acting like you're in charge. I'm the gods damned in the graves, Marshal, not you! <laughs> Looks like we're gonna be spilling some Vitalian blood tonight after all, eh? Hey? You think that's going to make this go quicker for you? You're wrong. I am enjoying this. Ah, uh, don't worry, your apothecary friend is next. Dane? Bristol, leave him be. Yeah, crawl away, scum. You're a real bitch bastard, you know that, stranger? You know, aiding an Italian in their escape from there is a hanging offense. Are you hearing me? You're a dead man, stranger. Lock the door. Lock that door.
Take your block! Yes, but Arid. Thane! Thane. He hasn't come back. Oh, it's my fault. I should never have brought the beast here. Don't move. Please. I've sent the best I can, but the wound is deep. The boy's a murderer. If that beast hasn't got to him already, he's gonna pay for his crime. Has Aaron ever done anything like that before? What he did to the beast? Not like that. There were times when we were young. If he was upset, he could hurt people without touching them. Hurt people? Make them suddenly ill or weak. We told Kiblock about it once. We called it devilry. We tried to beat it out of him. It's been years since it happened, though. We'd almost forgotten about it. Almost. I should have told you. Erid was afraid to let anyone know. But it wasn't yesterday he first met the witch. Last moon, he happened upon her on the mountain, and she asked him about his gift. How did she know about it? I don't know. She said she wanted to help him with it. Teach him to use it properly. I I told him to stay away from her, but he, he thought it would get us closer to becoming a team of heroes like the Red Thorns. Twice he snuck out at night after Giblock had gone to bed to meet her at her cottage. And Linworth. Did he go there to meet her too? No. I don't know. That's not what he told me, but I fear he's been keeping secrets. But you didn't suspect that he killed your master? No, but when I examined again the witch's arm, it became suddenly clear to me the same magic that killed Giblock was used against the witch at Linwith. Who else would try to protect the village from the witch but Erid? Why did the beast go after Erid? Like it was drawn to him. I don't know. I do. It was the old dark magic the boy wields. people and someone is cursed by dark magic he forever recognizes it in others the beast sensed within the boy that same power that has tormented him for you hey arlen uh, he needs it's time to say goodbye partner no 
And I won't say it, you knifed bastard. The point? To be so young. To wield the power of death. Lay? Lay? Come at me. I heard you out there calling for Thane. That beast wasn't Thane of the Redthorns. It once was. What happened to him? Well, sometime after the Year of the Dead, after he and Tila had set up life together as husband and wife, Thane was cursed by a sorcerer who called himself the Disciple. The Disciple? Yes. Thane remembers little about how it happened, but one thing he is certain of. The Disciple killed Tila. For more than 15 years, Thane remained a beast. How did you find him? I was only after the bounty. But when I realized that the creature was cursed, I thought that curing it might be easier than killing it. Finally, I worked out a mixture of monkshood and starleaf. That did the trick, but I wasn't prepared for the man who emerged. Or the condition he would be in. The little that Thane remembered only made him want to die. And his form... His form wasn't stable, so I had to keep him caged for his own safety as much as anyone else's. Where were you taking him? They say there are still masters of the old magic in Golgosha, so I was headed there and the hope for a permanent release of the curse. Finding Thane... It, it felt like a chance to make amends to Merrick. I was too cowardly to help her in my youth, but now I could help her friend. Her friend who had been the brave companion that she needed to stand by her. And I wouldn't. Failing Thane now feels like failing Merrick all over again. Wait. Your name is Egan. The apothecary's apprentice, you, you made Merrick's leg brace. She wore it for years. She wouldn't have been able to escape without it. She, she couldn't have done half the things she did if it weren't for your kindness. You've more than made up for any cowardice. I failed you. And Herod, as well. Even trying... makes you the most selfless man to ever walk through those doors. Alan, there's something that I need to talk to you about. Something that I found in Giblock's room. Oi, there's smoke. 
Up on a mountain! That's Mehitable's chimney. Uh, Aaron must have gone to her cottage. He's alive! Yeah, makes it easy enough, eh? What, what are you doing? You're going after him? Oh, yeah. And I'm hauling him to the magistrate's court. He's just a boy. He's confused. He's a slave who killed his master. That's not going unpunished. What's more, the dwarf's murder directly led to my partner's death. Oh, your own stupidity did that. I am putting that boy in shackles. Right, and if he shows any resistance, magic or otherwise, I'm gonna kill him! I'll come with you. <laughs> What's he gonna protect him from me? If that elf was right, then the beast is after the boy as well. And you don't want to be alone when you cross its path. I don't want the boy hurt. I'll convince him to come willingly. You can hardly stand up, mate. How are you gonna climb that mountain? Fine. Fine, we'll go together. But you just remember this is Marshall's business, all right? I'm in charge, yeah? You're in charge. You've given up hope for Thane. You're willing to kill him? Trying to cure him has cost too many lives. If killing him means sparing another of his victims, then it has to be the right choice. I want to go with you. Whatever's happening with Ered, he thinks he's all alone in it, and he's scared. You have to stay here in case he returns. I won't let the boy come to harm. You have my word. Where is it? Do you know who that belongs to? Mine. Zolok. Yes. Why is it here? I cannot say. Mehitable and her conjurings were after my time. But you know one who can. Don't you, Ered? One who could grant you what you wish most. To know where you come from. To know who you are. The disciple. Only he can give you the answers you seek. 
Mitzvah warned me to stay away from him. Yes. She would. She feared you, didn't she? The disciple will not fear you. He will put you on the path to your destiny. a burden and a lonely one. The disciple understands that, Herod. You must seek him out. Can Arlen come with me? Arlen wouldn't understand. She sees you only as a murderer now. Just as the witch did. The disciple can help you now. You're lying. Alan's still my friend. You know I'm right. You feel it. Or you wouldn't have run away from her. No. Leave me alone. Go away! I'll go in alone. I don't want the boy frightened. If you're not back with him soon, I'm coming in after you both. Eh? I just want to talk to you. Son, the beast is loose on this mountain. We think it's coming after you. I don't believe you. This power you have, the thing that came out of you when the beast attacked, the power that killed Giblock, it scares people. But I bet it's pretty damn scary for you too, isn't it? See, I once had a friend with the same power. Merrick? Yes. <laughs> that power scared me. It scared everyone who witnessed it. People told her that there was an evil inside her. She began to wonder if they were right. But Merrick learned how to control that power. She decided to use it for good. It's that power that Merrick used to save the world. But it's also that power that the beast is drawn to. That's why we need to get you off this mountain and down to safety. Mm. If I... If I go with you... What's gonna happen to me? You killed your master. You'll have to face the consequences of that, but I will be with you every step of the way, right by your side. I'll plead lenience in front of the magistrate. I will protect you. Maybe I don't need your protection from the beast or the magistrate. You saw what I did to it. But do you really want to spend the rest of your life running in fear? I'm an orphan and a slave. My whole life has been fear! Eric, it doesn't have to be that way anymore. Please, come. Come with me. Huh? No. He wants to see me punished. That's all any of them want to do with me. The witch, Master Giblock, all of them. Why did you do it? 
Why did you kill Giblo? I gone down to the cellar to retrieve the talisman from Ahitavol's body. The key to my past, she called it. Giblock couldn't sleep. He couldn't make sense of it. The witch so determined to kill me, she was willing to die trying. When I got up from the cellar, he was waiting for me. All right. You're doing it again. I don't want. That may be a lesson to you, that. He was going to separate us, Alan. And now he figured out what really happened at Linwood. What do you mean? The witch's vengeance. Wasn't what cursed the village, was it? I didn't mean to. It just happened. I just wanted them back, Arlen. Your parents? You thought you could bring them back from the dead, is it? That that's why you were looking for their graves? I could have done it. Is that what Mahidabal was teaching you? No. The witch was scared of my gift. She only wanted to show me how to restrain it. When I got to the graveyard that morning, my parents' names weren't there among the dead. But Mahidabal Crow was there. That's when she confessed. It wasn't the beast that killed my parents all those years ago. It was her. She wouldn't tell me why, only that she regretted it every day since. And that it was her fault that I was born the way I was, with this gift, this cursed power of Zorlok. I didn't mean to hurt the villagers. Only her. And when she saw what I'd done to Linwith, she blamed herself. She said the only way she could fix what she'd done was to kill me. Erid, you should have told me. I was afraid you'd hate me. How could you not? Your, your gift is so good. Evil. I will never hate you, Erid. You will never lose me. We're a team. We always will be. But right now we need to get to safety because the beast is still on the mountain. Right, that's enough jabbering on in here. What's going on? Bristol, it's fine. Did it again, did he? Boys, you are gonna hang for what you've done. I'll make sure of it! No! Eric! <laughs> Crystal Lake is more powerful than we think! Don't go move, you little shite! You try any of that dark magic, I'll send this poison bolt right through your heart. Bristol! We Bristol, stay back! Aaron? She doesn't understand. None of them do. They will only fear you. You cannot trust them. You can only trust yourself. Ugh. <sighs> 
You shouldn't have come. The witch's warning. I realized it wasn't about the beast. She meant Arid. After what he did to Linwood, the Hittable was trying to stop him from harming anyone else, and I, I didn't see it because I didn't want to, but Arid's become too dangerous. Alan? said we'd always be a team! We still can be! You're right, Arlen. I am dangerous. And I don't need you anymore! Find out who I am. If you come looking for me, I won't hold back. We're enemies now. Arlen. I can redress this. I can. That belonged to Tila, your mother. so proud of you. No, please. Please don't leave me. You'll be all right. Arlen. You're braver than you think.
Bristol, where's my me? Yeah, all right, all right. I've been waiting. Oi, keep your unders on. Ah, you're off then. Well, there's no claim on you for now. But if any relation to Gibbs turns up, you'll be their legal property. You'll go to them. And so will this tavern you've taken ownership of. <laughs> I guess we'll both be hoping that old dwarf's the last of his line, eh? <laughs> Arling. Mind yourself out there, yeah? So long, many thousand years. What names I could speak, mighty ones mourned with ancient tears. Stars burned out, still I can't let go of you. Seas dried up and valleys move. Could move me Empires and races Sunk beneath the earth And still your names live on My breath Echoes passing slowly Passing slowly 